Chapter Two: Computer Languages and Programming Techniques. Dear teacher, how can we talk to a computer? What is a computer language? Yes, students. A computer language is nothing but a language which a computer can understand. We will learn about them in detail. We all know that a language is a medium to express our views and ideas. It is essential for all those who have the capacity to understand. Computer can also understand things, so it also requires languages through which one can interact with it. Computer language is nothing but a language which a computer can understand. Amazing fact: Lady Ada Lovelace was the first computer programmer in the world. A computer language is the means by which instructions and data are transmitted to the computer. In other words, computer languages are the interface between a computer and its user. Categories of computer languages. The computer languages can be classified into four categories: first generation language, machine language. Second generation language, assembly language; third generation language, high level languages; fourth generation language, modern languages. First generation language, machine language. It is the only language that a computer can understand. It is expressed in binary form, that is zero and one. Machine language has the advantage of very high speed and very low memory utilization. But understanding and learning machine language is a tough and tiresome process. This language is extremely machine dependent. A machine language program written on one computer may or may not run on another computer. Because of this. Very few people opt for specialization in machine language. This is the reason why machine language is also regarded as low-level language (LLL). Second-generation language, assembly language. It enables a programmer to use names instead of numbers. This language uses mnemonic codes or symbols in places of zeros and ones. Instead of remembering the exact memory locations where data and instructions are stored, symbolic memory addresses are used for data. Since the computer can only understand the machine language, assembly language programs have to be converted into machine language. Translator programs known as assemblers were developed to convert the assembly language program into machine language. A program written in assembly language is called the source program, and the program converted into machine language by assembler is called object program or object code. Third generation languages, high level languages. A high level language can be understood by humans easily as compared to the previous two languages. The restrictions in the usage of machine and assembly languages prompted people to develop a language with the following features: simple and user-friendly language, language which is machine independent. Owing to the above features, it became easier to learn and use the computer languages. A large number of people started writing computer programs using these languages. That's why they are known as high-level languages (HLL), Basic, C, C++, Java, etc. are some of the very popular high-level languages. Fourth-generation language, modern languages, often abbreviated 4GL. Fourth-generation languages are programming languages closer to human languages than typical high-level programming languages. Most 4GLs are used to access databases. For example, a typical 4GL command is find all records from employee where name is Smith. Fourth generation languages are a combination of languages with the following features. They are highly user friendly. 
They are executed at very high speed. They reduce level of programming skills. They require minimum efforts from the user to obtain any information. Do you know Fortran was the first modern programming language? In 4GL, the user has to just specify the required output and the format of the output without bothering about the steps required to obtain that. Examples of fourth generation languages are Clipper, SQL, Panther, etc. Do it yourself. Search about some more information on computer languages on internet. Let's have a brief look on the features of the languages discussed above. Machine language, binary codes to depict operators and data. Machine dependent, only language which is directly understood by computer. Assembly language, mnemonics or symbolic codes used instead of binary numbers. Machine dependent, has to be converted into machine language by translator programs assembler. High level language. English words and mathematical operators are used. Machine independent has to be converted into machine language by translator programs. Modern language. Machine independent. Minimal user skills required to obtain results. Application development tool. Some translator programs. As we know that computer can understand only machine language, so when we type programs in the languages other than machine language, then we need a translator program to convert the program code into machine code. Some of these translator programs are Assembler. An assembler is a computer program which converts assembly language program into machine language. Compiler. It is a translator program to convert a high level language program into machine language. It translates the whole program at once and generates a list of errors if any otherwise. It generates the object code of the program. The execution is very fast. Interpreter. It translates a high-level language program into machine language line by line. That is, converts one line, executes the instruction, and then repeats the procedure for the remaining instructions. Program stops when an error is encountered. Interpreter programs are preferred for beginners and are slow in execution. What is a program? A program is a set of instructions arranged in a logical sequence which tells the computer what to do. Note, different programming concepts. Modular programming. In modular programming, we divide a large program into small units called modules. This programming consists of one main module and more sub-modules. Each module originates from a source code, example C programming. Procedural programming. Procedural programming is used to tell the computer exactly what to do, step by step. Procedural programming refers to functions and the execution of the functions. It emphasizes more on procedure than data. For example, assembler, Fortran, COBOL, C, etc. Event-driven programming. Event-driven programming or event-based programming is a kind of programming in which the flow of the program is determined by events. That is, on user actions, mouse clicks, key presses, for example, Visual Basic. Object-oriented programming, OOP. In object-oriented programming, a program is a collection of objects. These objects contain both data and functions. Objects belong to classes and can perform specific tasks. For example, C++, Java, C hash, etc.